Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church for the service of Compline. We are thankful that you have joined us this evening for prayer. I'm so thankful to have Jane Tocek with us. Good evening, Jane. Good evening. We are in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127. If you don't have a copy, you should. And so then after this, you need to call me and I will give you a copy. Um, but in the meantime, just listen and pray along. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We only have about two weeks left to say that word. We're using Psalm 31 today. And we're going to read it responsibly by whole verse. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. 
pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. In this moment of prayer and intercession, we invite yours, either aloud in the silence of your hearts or placed in the comments section. We begin with prayers for those that have commended themselves to our parish prayer list. For Larry, Amaya, Mike, Bill, Linda, Judy and Jack, Charlotte, Paul, Bill, Donald, Karen. For Helen, Gulzar, Nargis, Anselm, Krishna. For Bob and June, Ben, Phyllis, Jack, Bob, Robin, Lisa, William, Alexandra, Frank, Lindsay, Mackenzie, Sean, John, Anne, the Levitt family, the Allen family, Sean and Anne, Patricia, Donna, Jennifer, Callan, Larry, Tom and family, Bob and family, Michael and Anna. We pray for all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any adversity. As an expression of our common life in Christ at All Hallows, we pray for Pamela, Amelia, Grace, Laura, Bob and June, Bob and Jane, sorry, can't read. Barbara, Nick, Jennifer, Miles, Tom, and Karen. We pray for the unemployed and the underemployed, the unhoused, and the, those that are living on the edge, the hungry. We pray for those who struggle with their mental health. Those who are caught in addiction. We pray for the angry and the anxious. The crowded and the isolated. We pray for our world for an ending of violence and war, especially an end to the war in Ukraine, the war in the Middle East. We pray for those who are particularly affected and vulnerable, the elderly, the disabled children. We pray for leaders that they may seek peace and care about each and every human life. Closer to home, we pray for an end of gun violence in our streets. We pray for an end of racism and discrimination. We pray for Abington, Jenkintown, Glenside, Cheltenham, and Wincote, our leaders and our first responders. We pray for the church, the church in all its forms, that we may speak the good news of Jesus Christ with our mouths and show it with our hands and feet, spreading light and love into this world. We pray for our parish as we come to our annual meeting that God may bless our works and our efforts. We pray for our vestry. We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom. Especially do we remember the saints of all hallows. Mm -hmm. 
And we give thanks. We give thanks for this day, for the tasks that we have accomplished and the tasks that lie ahead for tomorrow. When we thank you, God, for the opportunity of rest. We give thanks for the rhythm of life and celebrations that come in birthdays and anniversaries. We give thanks for the people of All Hallows and their tremendous work and all the gifts that they bring. I give thanks for Jane and her leadership in many ministries and her friendship. We give thanks for the blessings that we see and the blessings that go by and we fail to take notice, but we know that they come to us daily. All these prayers we lift up to you, O oh God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. We continue with the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for a service of Compline. It, uh, I, I think... Uh, it was Karen Wilson, our friend who helps lead on Wednesdays, who said, this is the, the church's kiss goodnight. It yeah. is a, a lovely thought that at the end of the day, when so many things have kept us moving and busy, that we can rest in just a few moments of prayer and, and let our relationship with God lead us into a night of restful slumber. So enjoy this um we enjoy it with you thank you jane for helping lead my pleasure as always we will be back again uh tomorrow tuesday wednesday and thursday evenings and sunday our service is at 10 o'clock it is annual meeting sunday which means we have great worship in the morning at 10 and then we will share because it's also super bowl sunday so we're going to share some soup and we're going to have Super Bowls at our annual meeting. Um, so all are invited and welcome to come. Um, Wednesday this week, we have our Bible study at 11 o'clock on Wednesday, in person or live stream, your choice. Just let us know. We hope that you have a wonderful, restful sleep. Peace. Be at peace and pray for peace.